So can a movie present a sympathetic portrait of a controversial politician and still destroy whatever remaining credibility she had? But I'm burying the lead here. In our number one story, HBO's Game Change premiered Saturday and contained one revelation so shocking, so surprising, that I'm surprised the electricity was working today. And you hear what Oberman said about me last night? Sir, you've oh. got to stop watching Keith Oberman. What? John McCain watched Countdown during the 2008 campaign? That was Ed Harris's John McCain complaining to campaign manager Steve Schmidt, played by Woody Harrelson, about something I said on the air. I have no idea what could have made the senator so upset, besides my constant comparisons of him to Grandpa Simpson, or the fact that when he lied to David Letterman about canceling his appearance on The Late Show so he could rush back to Washington because the economy was cratering, he in fact rushed over to West 57th Street to do a dinner, different interview on the same network, and Letterman got me to substitute as the guest. Mr. McCain says he didn't watch the movie, that it wasn't accurate. Sarah Palin said the same thing. The real Steve Schmidt said, nah, it was pretty much a documentary with better lighting. It was very accurate. I think for all of us who were in the campaign, it really rang true. Same for Nicole Wallace, the senior advisor to the campaign who was assigned to work with Palin in the movie. She tearfully admits on election night that she could not bring herself to vote. Well, the Palin campaign didn't like it. How true to life? <laughs> well, it's true enough to make me squirm. Let's bring in comedian and countdown contributor Maysoon Zayed. Thanks for being here. So we all squirmed and watched that on Saturday night. Uh, first off, obviously unanimous opinion, Julianne Moore nailed it, gets an Emmy, maybe get six Emmys yeah. for that. Uh, nailing Palin, to borrow a phrase from some other context. But the emotions that she invoked, you see Palin as sincere but totally unprepared at the beginning. Then she's absolutely the victim of other people's bad decisions with her own ambition sort of mixed in. Then she's catatonic. Then she's vindictive and possibly the most selfish person in the history of humanity. So most of it was a sympathetic performance, but she's still done as a candidate, right? After that, there's no way you could be taken seriously by other than your most ardent supporters. Um, we still are talking about the GOP, so believe yes. it or not, unfortunately, <laughs> very sadly, there is still hope. Um, I'm a huge, huge Julian Moore fan yeah. since she pay played Evil Twins on As World Turns. I remember that. And I thought she did uh, a great Sarah Palin. I thought that also, I believe that the movie was accurate. Mm -hmm. I do, because it's exactly how I imagined it. Yeah. When they were training her for the debates, and she was talking about Islamophobia and Saddam and Saddam, and she didn't know the difference, it was exactly how right. I pictured it. And I always wanted to be a fly on the wall to see who came up with the idea of using the baby to cover the baby bump. Yes. Yeah. All right, so so she responded to the movie originally by saying there was nothing, no, there was, she was not going to watch it, there was nothing in there, it was false. Now she says, I believe my family has the right priorities and knows what really matters. That is something of a difference of opinion from herself before the movie aired. What happened? Uh, I bet you anything that her egomaniacal self saw how beautiful she looked like <laughs> as Julianne Moore and was like, I'm in. But also, I think that she has a real problem differentiating reality and truth. And I bet she could watch that movie and see it as a positive thing. Mm -hmm. See talking about how embarrassed she was about her own daughter as a positive thing. So I think it's just an extension of her delusion. All right, I have to uh, play another clip. John McCain claims he didn't watch the movie. He also used to tell me that uh, and tell people at MSNBC he never watched Countdown. So I want to yeah. play this clip and then get your, your thought. Okay. Play it again. And you hear what Oberman said about me last night? Sir, you've oh. got to stop watching Keith Oberman. So he didn't watch me then, and he didn't watch this over the weekend. Mm -hmm. So we know the first one isn't true. Do you think he watched? I think that he watched, and I also, I watched, and in that moment mm -hmm. when Woody Harrelson said mm -hmm. what he said about Countdown, I just wanted John McCain to turn around and say, I can't quit him. <laughs> I can't quit him. Because the way that Woody Harrelson said, stop watching Keith Oberman, was exactly like he said, stop watching porn. Oh, boy, that would have been wonderful. It was good enough as it was. And we didn't get to even get to, to address the real revelation in this, which is that Sarah Palin owns more hockey jerseys than the, than the Hockey Hall of Fame. People in, any, in glass houses shouldn't throw baseballs, my friend. Something like that. All right, yeah, guilty. Countdown contributor Maysoon Zayed, always a pleasure to see you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. That's Countdown. Congratulations on getting through another day of this crap. Remember what John McCain says, stop watching Keith Olbermann. Good night and good luck.